divorces. Well, yeah, I just got done divorcing my wife the other day. I divorced all 19 of my wives the other day. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm up to 22 now. Really? Yeah. Uh, you know, the majority I, of them have kids. I, I don't care about that too much. Good thing I won the Nebraska lottery. Yeah. Or I'd be, shh, I'd be broke as fuck <laughs> right now. I work at McDonald's. So basically, you're in the hole. Huh. Well, see, my basically what they do is they take my child support directly out of my check. But my check is negative every time, so I have to work with for McDonald's for the rest of my life to pay back the amount of money they have to pay out for child support. Oh, well, you can get some double cheeseburgers on the side. I can't. No? I can't even afford that. Oh, jeez. Well, I just started almost... Right now, I'm wearing clothes, and I did it because I borrowed it from him. Normally, I'm just totally nude because I can't afford clothes. Here's the thing. Get extremely obese. Get very fat. Very big. So that you never have to have a divorce. Why? Yeah. Why? Well, it's obvious. If you're extremely obese and you can't even walk to the fridge to get another greasy snack, you will never get married. Yeah. Okay? Oh, yeah. Either get extremely obese or, better yet, Cut off a penis. That's right. Because just, just hack it. Right off. Yeah. Not the balls, though. You gotta keep the balls. Because uh, sex hungry whores will not marry you. With yes. That penis. Yeah. That, the odds of knocking them up, very slim. Yeah. Very slim. It'd have to be an accident of some sort. Exactly. For you not to have a penis and for her to get pregnant. <laughs> it would be. But that would cause a divorce of the wrong because you could prove. That she's cheating on you. Yeah. And think about this. Okay, so you go to McDonald's and order 45 double cheeseburgers every day. You're fat as fuck. And oh, jeez. You can't even climb into your car, so you stay in your car. You live in your car. This bitch tries to marry you. You put her under your fat roll and suffocate her. Oh, yeah, just kill her right You there. don't even have to worry about a divorce. Yeah, just dead. That's right. And then you can eat the car carcass. Yeah, because you're fat and you love carcasses. Yeah. The only thing that's left is the bones, and you can just dispose of them in the trash can. Or swallow them whole. Because mm -hmm. you're fat. Or whittle them into maybe <laughs> utensils to eat more. That's right. Because you want to eat more. Who the fuck has a bone fork? God, you're you're fat. I mean, that's that's. A... <laughs> Jeez. I know. Just get fat. You probably eat cardboard because you're so fat. I would just eat people. Yeah, and get divorces. Yeah. Wait, you don't have those because you're too fat. Um, yeah. Uh, but. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, statistically, uh, they they do say nowadays that 99.9% .9 of the time you're gonna get a divorce every time you get married and because it's herpes that causes it herpes all the time every single time it's herpes super herpes super herpes which actually makes your penis fall off which is convenient and it goes back to my last point of you hacking it off that's right that just stops it right there and it makes vaginas extremely moldy yeah to where it looks like there's hair. So where, but it's you just know, mold. And you're trying to do it, and it feels like sandpaper. That's right. No satisfaction. None whatsoever. Um, and, and it leaves a cheese smell in the air. Yes, very cheesy. So that both members begin puking violently on each other for more lubrication. Yes. Disgusting. Oh, gross. Just gross. I've only done it three times. Yeah. Disgusting. That's the reason why I totally got rid of my wiener. <laughs> I don't have one either. That, and I decided to half my odds. I Lance Armstronged it and cut off half of my nuts. Yeah. Well, God, my penis was so long in the first place, it just got in the way. Yeah. It's very important, too, that you Lance Armstrong it. Mm -hmm. You gotta take at least one ball out. Yeah, or you'll be considered obese. Yeah. And it's just more weight you lose, especially if you're like a runner, professional runner, you know, and stuff like that. It's, a, it's less weight you gotta carry around, race yeah. car driver. 
the percentages are lower on divorces when you only have one nut. Yes. Uh, I don't know why. Probably because they don't choke so much when you teabag them. And if you're a professional race car driver that is also inter interested in divorces but is watching this program, if you hack off your legs, you're saving probably 60 pounds of weight there if you're a NASCAR driver. Exactly. If you're a gardener and you have a 401k plan and you shop at Walmart, you're 73% less likely to have a divorce. Yes. And also, if you're 93 years old and you have a wife, that's that's pretty good. I mean, divorce I, her. I'd probably just divorce her right then and there because you don't want no reason. You don't want to go through life without a divorce. Oh yeah, you got to be single at least when you. I, I mean, I, I plan on just offing myself at some point in my life. Yeah. Well, if you're 91 laying in your hospital bed and the last wish you have is to do meth, but your wife won't let you, what are you going to do? Divorce her. I kind of want to go into like maybe a marching band, like a bunch of middle schoolers, just blow my brains out all over the drumists. <laughs> and just brains on their face. So yeah, they and lose like, beat and the whole band goes, you know. Yeah, but I'll, I'll be naked when I do this. Yeah. And I'll just, I'll, I'll walk in front of the band, just shit in front of all the kids. That way. They'll be like, you know, freaking out and stuff like that. And I'll just blow my brains out. <laughs> and everyone watching will just start vomiting everywhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> On each other. Yeah. Everything. In each other's drinks. Yes. And then they'll drink it and vomit some more. Oh, and God. on that note, I think we're going to talk about the next way that we're going to probably commit suicide. Probably. The best ways to commit suicide, I believe, is about, probably going to cover the next episode. Yeah, I'd um, say. Anyway, do you want to shut it off this time, or you want me to walk my fat ass? Why not? We don't have a fucking camera crew anymore. Yeah, you know, they're all dead. Yeah. I just heard feeding half of God dogs. They're fucking lazy anyway. Yeah.